Hello everyone, this is David with my first video for Studio One Expert. I'd like to talk a bit about two different ways you can send audio from an audio track to a bass in Studio One. One way would be to send the audio in series and the other in parallel. I would like to discuss the difference between these two methods and when and why you should or could use one or the other. Actually, this is pretty basic stuff and I'll admit maybe not the most exciting one, but it's really important to understand the difference between these two methods and maybe you weren't aware before that there is a difference at all, so then this video is for you. Okay, so what do we got here? I set up an audio track and a bus and I rendered a 200 Hz sine wave with the tone generator in Studio One on the audio track. It looks a bit strange here because of the zoom level, but uh, if you have a look at the audio editor, we can see it's just a perfect sine wave. Let's have a listen. Okay, wonderful. But we really don't need to hear this tone throughout the video, so I will mute the main out. And instead I inserted the level meter on the master bus, so that we can see what's going on. And as you can see, we are peaking here at minus 12 dB full scale here on the track and on the main out as well. Okay, so the first way to send the audio from this track to this bus is the most usual one. We route the output of the audio track via this drop down menu to the bus. You can see now we also have a level of minus 12 dB at the bus and nothing changed on the master bus as well, minus 12 dB. So the audio is just passed through in series. It goes from the audio track to the bus and then to the main out. So this is the first method. And it's the same what happens when you right click on a track or several tracks and select add bus for selected tracks. Then Studio One sets up the bus for you and routes all the tracks automatically to the bus, just as I did manually, here the output of the track gets sent to the bus. Uh, this is typically used when you want to control the level of several tracks with just one fader. Like you can see I can control the level here. And it changes on my main out. Or if you want to process several tracks with let's say a compressor or an EQ, if you want to process them in the same way and all at the same time. Okay, so let's have a look at the second way, which would be to send the audio in parallel to the bus. First, I make sure to put this back to the main output. And now, instead of the output of the track, I choose a send to send the audio to the bus. And I have to make sure that uh, the level here is at unity gain, because as you can see by default, it's set to minus 6 dB. So hit control or command on a, if you're on a Mac and left click and then you have 0 dB which means unity gain no attenuation going on but look what happened now we have still minus 12 dB on the track minus 12 dB on the bus but on the main out suddenly we have minus 6 dB instead of the minus 12 dB we had before I don't know why it's showing a little bit less here but uh, basically it's minus 6 dB because this is exactly what happens if you double a track the level gets increased by 6 dB. So what we did here is basically the same what happens when you duplicate a track in the arrange view. And to show you that I will turn off my send to the bus and drag this event down to a second audio track. If you hold down Alt or Option on the Mac while you drag an event down it gets copied instead of moved. And let's make the audio track visible in the mixer. And now you can see we have minus 12 dB on the first audio track, minus 12 dB on the second, but again, just like before, we have minus 6 dB on the main out. If I mute the second audio track, it's minus 12 dB. And as you can see, when I double it or duplicate it, the level gets increased by 6 dB. 
Okay, so when would you want to use uh, the second method of sending audio to a bus via a send uh, instead of the output? This is typically used, for example, for the so-called send effects like reverb or delay, which are normally put on a bus or an FX channel instead of the insert of a track, or for parallel processing, which means that you have the unaffected audio going to the main out at the same time, and also processed audio, like for example, you can put a compressor on a queue on the bus, and then uh, process it heavily, and then blend in the process signal to your taste, while you have still a constant stream of the unaffected audio going to the main out. So whenever you want to do parallel processing, this is really, the both ways are the same. So you can duplicate the track in the arrange view, and then put the processing on a second track, or simply send, um, make a bus and send it there, and I think this is the more elegant and practical solution also because, for example, if you have like uh, several drum tracks and you want to parallel process the snare, the kick, the toms, maybe the overheads in the room too, then it's much easier to just simply set up some sends, send them to a bus, than to duplicate all the tracks in the range view. Okay, and that's it for now. If you have some questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section. I've been David, thanks for watching, bye bye.